thought I'd find you here. How's Frankie? Is she all right? She wants some time in her own, but she said she'd meet me tomorrow. I'm sorry about what she said. She didn't mean it. She's just hurting. So right, I'll get it. I'll... I'd have the amp. I know if I was her. I'm worried about you. You've got that blinkers look that you used to get as a child. Talk to me. I feel sad. I feel like I've lost a daughter, which is mad if you think about it, because... Yeah, I, I just... Yeah, I feel like I'm going mad, you know? I feel responsible. I mean, I've come back into your life and stirred up all these feelings from the past, feelings about your mum, about Stan and Sylvie. It's bound to take its toll. No, I... I haven't really been coping recently. Uh, been having panic attacks. And I've been on these pills, you know, and they... You know, they were helping and that for a bit, but now uh, I just... I just don't see the point, really. What's, what's the point in anything, really? Look at me. Those boys that used to give you a hard time at home, do you know where they are now? They're either inside or they're on the street. But not you. You raised a family, you run a business, and you're not giving up now. Because you're different. You're special. I believe in you, Michael. Katie, wait. Go home to your wife. It's time for us both to look to the future. conversation this morning I dug out that album and do you know what <laughs> it's funny neither of us were right dad's 40th I was wearing black <laughs> I suppose that's what age does to you 